Hi guys, welcome back. It's Sheppy again. Uh, your local uh, live 2D something or other. <laughs> I try my hardest. Um, so I wanted to make a video today about a topic I've been thinking about a lot, which is a lot of non-illustrators want to get into doing live 2D rigging, which is perfectly fine but i find that a lot of people have told me it's really hard to start out because as an illustrator you know i can just draw my own model and then work from there but as non-illustrators it can sometimes be hard to find the right resources to build up your portfolio and then start taking commissions because you can't really take commissions easily if you don't have something to show a commissioner so i just wanted to show some free resources for people to start out with yeah <laughs> okay so the first resource is the live 2d sample model collection you might already know about this if you've downloaded live 2d and played around with it a bit but this is very good for starting out your portfolio you can use any of these models as long as you double check the license that they hold even if they don't have a psd file you can download the live 2d file and clear the parameters and work from there you just have to double check the licensing here as long as it says license type live to the original character then you can use it for your portfolio um, there is a lot of different ones that you're able to use this Hiyori one is also a live to the original character you can still use it but you have to double check with ones like this this Jin Natori model where it says license type collaboration character I would double check the terms and conditions but I'm pretty sure that you cannot use them as easily for your portfolio so i would stick to the ones that say live to the original characters especially the hatsune miku one which is you know a major brand so i wouldn't personally use this for my portfolio but you can still use it for practice definitely so yeah please go through the models this one is especially good because it has the psd file as well so you can uh, look through each individual object so I think this one's a really good learning opportunity. But yeah, just have, have a look through all of the sample models. I would say download all of them and you can learn a lot from here. Yeah. Okay, so the next uh, major resource that I would recommend is looking at boost.pm. It is this store website that is made through Pixiv where creators can put their items up for sale and you can also put items up for sale for zero dollars so i would say where this max price is put it to zero look up live 2d and you'll get a lot of different results here i want to specifically talk about some models that i think are really good for practice the first one is by deep blizzard it is uh this one he has a video accompanying it so he actually goes through how to set up the live 2d model for beginners and so this one's really good if you're just starting out and if you look into the terms and conditions here as a practice of live 2d modeling there's no problem to post screenshots or videos of your model character on sns as long as you are not using it for commercial use or um, distributing the model that you have made in live 2d you should be fine with the portfolio if you have any questions i would say just ask <laughs> ask the person directly and if you don't get a response and don't feel comfortable maybe don't use it the next one that i recommend is this one by yuki noah so this one is actually both personal and commercial use are possible so this one has the live 2d file that they've already set up a psd file and also description and whatnot so you can use this one freely on your portfolio as long as you uh, do the modeling yourself so yeah this is a really cute one that i recommend this is another model that i recommend off the booth store i'll i'll provide links in the description for each one that i talk about this one is by sonanato and it is a psd file you have to download the folder to see the terms and conditions but i've already done so beforehand and I've read through the terms and conditions and you should be able to use this for your portfolio. If you're unsure about the terms and conditions and they don't provide it in English, I recommend using the website DeepL. 
So I have it copy pasted the terms and conditions for that specific one. And it says, please feel free to use the files for your own purposes. I'm looking forward to seeing my boy in action. As long as you're not redistributing this model for money or just redistributing it in general or those kinds of purposes. As if it's for a portfolio, this one should also be fine to use and it's very cute. So I highly, highly recommend. Yeah. The last one on Booth PM I'm gonna recommend for you guys. Haha, <laughs> don't worry, I'm not making money off this. It's not really a proper plug. It's you can download it for free. It's the PSD file of my old model, and you can use this for your own portfolio. It's in my terms and conditions here, so feel free to download this PSD file and uh, go at it. <laughs> I, I love seeing the way people model my older model and it's, it's just a lot of fun seeing people's portfolios so please feel free to try this one out yay so including the live 2d sample model collection there's probably at least five models you can use here for your portfolio and then i introduced four separate ones from booth.pm and i'm sure there's more models that you can search if you look up live 2d on booth.pm you can go through them but make sure you read all of the terms and conditions that's already almost like 10 models that you can use for your portfolio if you're looking even further i have one more recommendation to make however it does cost money and that is this model by niori Niori is a brilliant artist who worked with Hololive for Muna Hoshinova's design. So you already know that they have a lot of experience making uh, live 2D models. It costs $10, but I've actually bought this one myself and it's a really nice model and you are able to use it for your portfolio i've looked through the terms and conditions but once again i would say read through them yourself use DeepL if it's in japanese and i think this is a really lovely model and it would really help you to understand how people who are in the more professional field of live 2d are separating their layers so it's just like that extra option for those who have a little bit of disposable income but it's not necessary at all you still have all of these free resources that you can use to build up your portfolio so yeah i am really looking forward to more and more live 2d riggers coming up and showing their new skills okay so thank you for watching so far the last thing i just want to say is that if you find a model that is free on boost.pm or any other website that you can use but it says that it's not available for portfolio or redistribution of any kind so you can't post it anywhere i still recommend downloading that model just for practice anyway because even if you can't post it onto your twitter or onto your portfolio you can still have a good experience working with different artists models so i would say definitely try it out if you're looking for more and more practice and the last thing i want to say is if you want to make a portfolio i recommend three different websites and that is either card.co wix or weebly they're all free uh, portfo well not portfolio they're all free website making platforms so please don't spend so much money making your portfolio do do what you can to <laughs> save your money and then make your commissions yeah <laughs>